Welcome in. Time for some 814 Eats. We are joined with Emily Bumgardner of Weiss Markets. Thanks so much for coming on, Emily. Thanks Always for good me. to see you and have you. So, this is definitely back to school time. Actually, the high school here goes back to school tomorrow. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to be talking about some easy, great ideas for lunches and keeping it a little bit healthy. Yes, and this doesn't have to be just for the elementary kids, could definitely <laughs> be for the high school kids or the adults too, going back to the office. Any Exactly. I'm already um, hungry looking at it. So can we get started? You're calling these bento boxes. Yes, which really is just multiple compartment container. It does not have to be anything fancy. You know, you see a lot on Instagram of the fancy one, but it can be really whatever you want it to be. I honestly always just recommend trying to include every food group. Yes. Okay, so can we get started with the ravioli one? Yeah, because okay. I think that's kind of cutting edge for lunches. I wasn't getting ravioli in my lunchbox yes, when I was younger. That's <laughs> actually one of my favorites. So the little mini raviolis, you can do any veggies, but I did kind of the caprese, the zucchini oh, and tomato cute. on there. And then if you want to put some sauce to dip it in, and then I just added, you know, whatever fruit, maybe a crunchy snack. Um, on the side. So with the frozen ravioli, are you you cooking them yes, first? Yes, I cooked them. If you wanted to put them hot in more of like a thermos style, you could, but these are just cold and then, you know, you could, they're safe to eat as long as they're cooked. Oh, yummy, yummy. And, and you're making sure you're balancing, you know, the protein, yep. veggies, nuts, I see in there, yep. and an apple on the yeah, side. Yeah, and whatever their favorite is. Yummy. So let's head over to the chicken dish. Yeah, so who doesn't <laughs> love chicken, chicken nuggets? Now these are frozen. I just baked them in the air fryer. Um, so you could obviously eat those cold or if you wanted to warm those up as well. And then I always say if your kids need a little dipping sauce, that's totally okay. I'm if that, a dipper. If that's what's going to get them to eat their veggies <laughs> or their lunch, that's totally fine. So we have a little bit of ranch. That's actually um, Greek yogurt ranch, so a little bit healthier. Okay, yes, yeah. and you can even do your own little homemade one, Yeah, right? of course. some Greek yogurt. Yeah, and I just use a cupcake liner as the kind of divider if you don't like your food to touch. That is smart. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about the food touching <laughs> yeah. component. And then pinwheels. These have been trending. Yes, so <laughs> typically they might be with a tortilla. This is just the lunch meat, so some turkey, cheese, and then there's some avocado and peppers inside, but you could do whatever you wanted. Ooh, I'm just loving that. <laughs> I'm looking at it. So you've got the turkey, avocado, the tomato, cheese. and the cheese. Yeah. I do want to taste one of those. Oh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. I had a light lunch. I knew you were coming. There you go. And then you also have some easy grabbables. Yeah, Tell so it doesn't these. it doesn't have to be, you know, <laughs> taking a lot of time to do all this. It can be something as easy as grabbing a applesauce pack, a granola bar, that kind of thing. An apple, you know, we have a lot of chopped produce and Mm -hmm. um, washed and cut in our produce department, so you can grab that as well. Mm, these are very good. Different than the tortilla. Yeah, I like that. And you're kind of probably cutting back on some carbs, too. Yeah, you are as well. <laughs> yeah, you're a dietitian, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, if people want to check out some of these recipes or even grab some of these great go-to items for back to school, and you're right, the office, because yeah, I know I got course. some of these staples in my office. Where should they go, Emily? So for our magazine, you can look at the Healthy Bites magazine. That's where all of these recipes came from. It's in stores or online. And then, of course, you come to Wise Markets and get all of your go-to items. I love it. Very good. Healthy Bites magazine. And you can just pick that up right when you're Yep, or you out. can on our website. If you go to wisemarkets.com slash nutrition, you can find it all. Perfect. Thank you so much, Emily, for Thank coming you. on the show, getting us ready for back to school. And we know that a healthy tummy <laughs> equals a happy person. Yes. <laughs> no hanger here. No. Uh, we have, we're going to get a quick check of our 8-1 forecast. Joe, do you want to taste any of these? We've got the pinwheel. I don't need you being cranky on air. I, um, yeah, I'm, I, I am getting a little hangry. I didn't Maybe get I'll to give eat you one much. of these peanut butter dark chocolate granola bars. Ooh, <laughs> sounds good. All right, save me one. I have an update. They're in a rain delay. There is a shower that is moving across.